my agenda as a chair of education committee, first of all, is to address the myriad issues facing the sector. One of the major issues, and I think which uh, the president has already tried to address, is the issue of CBC. We are really waiting as members to look at what the task force will have actually come up, out with, to critically analyze, to make sure that it is a people-centered people education system, our child-centered education system. And two, we'll also be looking at the TVET education system, or the TVET uh, subsector, where actually we want to ensure that the remaining uh, constituencies that do not have TVETs should actually have a complete TVET or technical education, uh, vocational educational institution so that actually we, our young people will be able to have the skills, the know-how on how actually they can assist themselves and they can employ themselves and even improve the economy. That is the skills that we want. We want to skill the young people so that actually they can have a proper running economy. That delocalization as a policy, I think it has been said not once, it has been said severally, that it is a policy that actually the, gov the, the people of Kenya have spoken against. They have said we want to really make sure that teachers teach wherever they want to teach, but with a lot of motivation. They do not need to be forced to go out of their home areas. That's why we have re looked at the delocalization issue. We have advised the stakeholders who are there so that for those teachers who wish to remain wherever they are, they, they cannot be forced to go out, especially those who are 50 or, or who are actually aged. So that delocalization issue needs to be looked at again and all the teachers be taken to where they want to teach, not by force, but by their own way.